Today I'm out here at New Smyrna Beach at the site of the old Sheldon's New Smyrna Hotel. This was a hotel that existed here about 1859, but was destroyed by Union ships during the Civil War. It's actually standing on top of an old Timaqua Indian mound. As you can see, there's some clam here, some oyster. Just behind me here is the Indian River. But here's the wall, well fortified, made of a coquina rock. It's a pretty strong rock that we have naturally existing here in Florida. It's basically composed of uh, shells that harden over time or petrify over time. There's some pretty handy brickwork in here. It's a very durable rock because it, it actually absorbs impact from cannon fire very well. You can see it had a lot of looks like storage chambers within the hotel. Probably for grain and wine and things of that nature. There were some sugar plantations around here and indigo and coffee plantations. It's a neat little little attraction out here at New Smyrna Beach, a little Florida history. I guess it was also attacked on several occasions uh, by the Seminole Indians when they were at war with the, the settlers and the U.S. government. Ten-year war here in Florida. You can see that this was once a pretty tall mound here as you go down a little bit how it planes out. I would have to say the top was shaved off because mounds are usually uh, more rounded at the top. Here we you can see the remains of the Timaqua people here. We got the oyster, a lot of oyster since it's right on the Indian River clam shells. But it's a neat little place out here at New Smyrna Beach. Little Florida history.